This tutorial is meant to provide an overview of the interface and some basic core features. First off, every user should know that the manual is found here in the Help menu. In addition, there are other valuable links here. Advanced tips are posted on this site, and the latest downloads from this page. Also, every user should get to know the Hammer Wrench menu down here. This contains critical 4.5 features, including notifications of new versions, as well as support-related options. V4.5 Pro is a veritable Swiss Army Knife application. It's an audio player, a database engine, a transcoding engine, a metadata management tool, and a production tool that works with the industry's leading audio and video workstations. Let's do something really simple to start. I'm going to drag this file onto the player as a way of showing you some core things. Firstly, by scanning, it has read both the audio and metadata of the file. It builds the waveform image, and the player allows you to play from anywhere by simply clicking or using the spacebar and the left-right arrow keys on your keyboard. It's also read the artwork and displays the image for you here and here. And over on the right panel, you'll find all the metadata it's pulled from the file. The browser displays specifically selected fields in a spreadsheet-like format. Now, making a permanent database of many files uses the same process. Up at the top, in the main toolbar, is a pull-down menu where your databases can be selected. You can create as many databases as you wish, and if you're connected to a server, those databases appear with an omega sign in front of them. To make a database, go into the Database menu and select Create a Database. In this menu, it's important to select the profile that best suits your work. In most cases, selecting Music and Effects is your best option because all fields are enabled. In fact, it includes over 60 fields. The app will come with default profiles, but any user can request a custom profile from us as well. Give your database a name, and you're ready to start. Now all you need to do is find your audio files and drag them onto the application. This starts the scanning engine, which we've already seen, catalogs the audio, reads the metadata, detects the artwork if present, and builds your database. So now that we have our first database built, we can further examine the interface. At any time, if you wish to see all records, use the Find All menu item or use the Quick Key Command J. Depending on your preferences, the database may or may not show you items until you perform a search. Along the top is the toolbar. This area contains the most often used items and can be customized. If you control click on the toolbar area or use the Customize tool if visible, you can drag in the tools you want and drag out the ones you don't want. The area directly below is the main returns area and it too can be customized. Appearance elements can be altered in the Preference pane. These include things like colors, fonts, and things related to them. From the Window menu, you can customize the columns being viewed. By checking the ones you want, it will put them in view. Once in view, you can literally drag them in the order you want. And when you have it just the way you like, you can save that layout here. You can also use the toolbar to store and recall up to five different views. Option clicking will store, whereas simple clicking will recall. You can, of course, also use the menu items. If you've chosen to view more columns than fit on your screen, you can use the scroll bar at the bottom to see them. At the very bottom is the waveform view. Any selected item will load and play from this area. Your return key starts playback from the top, and play pause is toggled with the space bar. You can also skip across the waveform using your left-right keyboard keys, or your mouse. You can also select an area by dragging across the area you want and then refine it by clicking the yellow edit tabs on the in and out points. You can loop playback and easily create new edits and copy and convert them out complete with metadata embedded. You can view just the left or right side and add fades and do highly advanced sound design, which is not covered in this beginning tutorial. And at the right is a pane which toggles out from the Windows menu. By default, this shows a selected file's details, 
but the window has multiple operations accessible at the bottom here. In detail view, the metadata associated with the file is viewable, searchable, and even linkable. The modes are determined up here at the top right. This button puts the page in search mode. Clicking on any field allows you to do a search in that field for any matching content. This button puts it in live link mode and clicking any field brings back other fields that match that content. And the World Wide Web button would link to the file's internet home if that was in the metadata. The spotting options select our project area. This area operates much like your desktop. You can make folders and put folders inside of folders and create what we call spots, which are effectively like common playlists, except that they have other properties that hold edit information, project level metadata, directory, and renaming information. This area is meant for you to organize outputs either to another audio workstation or to a folder. More in-depth examination of this area can be found in our spotting tutorials. When selecting artwork, 4.5 gathers up all the unique artwork in a currently selected database and shows it to you in this pane. Clicking any item will bring back items with that associated artwork. Assigning artwork is as easy as browsing for the items and dragging a JPEG onto them, or using this contextual menu option. Summarize is another search aid. This calculates all the unique entries for a field based on the content in the returns area. You could easily refine down based on any field. And what we call playlists is more like a favorites, and that is located here. This allows you to collect up items from a database and set them aside for quick recall. These, however, are database dependent, so each database would have its own set of playlist links. There's, of course, a lot more to V4.5 Pro, but this is just an introduction to the interface. Check out our other tutorials on searching, beginning and advanced metadata work, projects, and spotting lists.